Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. One of the tools I use a lot is a 3D Mate mat. I separated mine into segments. This part of it makes 10 concentric circles and if you fill it, it looks something like this. But what if there was a way to connect these 10 circles vertically up into space? Then you could instantly make cylinders, cones, spheres, even convex and concave paraboloids. Being able to make these basic shapes will help you with countless projects you may choose to make. In this video, I will teach you how to make a tool that will help you make all these shapes. So let's get started and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to know more. To join two circles vertically, we'll need some spacers to separate them at the desired interval. For a simple use like making linear cones, you can even start with just two pieces of square dowel, because the spacing of a cone is the same in between all the layers. However, for more sophisticated shapes like paraboloids and spheres, you will need to be able to have a finer scale of gradual vertical increase in between your layers kind of upward going ruler, if you will. Something like this. Super simple to make. You just stack craft sticks in ascending order. One, then two, then three, and so on until you reach a dozen. You want to glue the stacks together for stability. And I have marked mine with a number of sticks in each stack and color coded them with permanent markers. They are mostly used in pairs, so make two sets and make the matching pairs the same color. That way you can quickly find the matching pairs when they are stored in a cup. The best size of sticks for small projects are these so-called skinny sticks. They are five and three quarters of an inch long and quarter of an inch wide. You will find them in most craft stores. You will need 156 of them. They usually come in packs of 75, so you will need two packs and a bit. Watch out, there are many types of craft sticks available and some are not as suitable. The classic popsicle sticks with the rounded corners are a little too short and the so-called big sticks are too wide, at least for the mat sized projects. Use a wood glue to stick the stacks together and clamp them until the glue dries either with office clips or rubber bands. The skinny sticks are approximately 1 12th of an inch thick. So going up to a dozen sticks should give you about one inch lift. I hope this helped. For a detailed demo of how to use the spacers, go to my video of how to make a cone with contour lifting. Some more shape making videos are in the making, so subscribe so you don't miss any of them. <music> 